Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, how to print a memo line on a bill payment check. I did my first video on this topic about six years ago, and uh, still uh, showing uh, some interest. In, you know, users to have uh, questions. So I, I thought update this to see uh, how everything works after six years. So I'm going to go to uh, QuickBooks Online. Before I do that, uh, I'm going to show you something here. So on the bill payment, you know, you have uh, the memo fill on a check and then the uh, if you're printing uh, a check stop, there's a check stop. So the memo fill line, they have uh, uh, about 42 characters on the check print, 42 characters limit. And on the uh, check stop, they have about 59 characters. So I haven't, I haven't found any uh, QuickBooks articles or anything, but uh, I did my testing, and so that's that's what I got. So I'm going to go to uh, QuickBooks Online, and uh, uh, so it's QuickBooks Online, and show you uh, what's happening. Okay, so I'm going to go to uh, vendors, vendors. And I already did the uh, bill. So in here, basically, I have uh, here's the uh, vendors, A3 supplier, and I have uh, three bills, and I want to pay, uh, you know, the, the three bills. So whenever you create a bill, you know, you have a, a memo line in here. You can do whatever you want, but uh, still, uh, when you ready to pay you know the bill payment by check you still need to enter uh, on the memo fill so uh, so basically so I'll show you what the step in here okay so basically all you do is uh, you create bills you know you have all kinds of ways to create bills so it's create bills and then you know then you're ready to pay then you uh, uh, pay the bills right here right those are you know kind of normal way to do it okay so uh, now you want to read re ready to pay the bill so just click the print check so I added all this and I have about 70 characters on this one uh, and on as I said uh, on check memo line you know it's uh, it's only 42 but on check stop it cuts up at 59 okay so just click the print check. Say this one here, type. So this is the important one, you know. Type bill payment. So click that one. Bill payment type. Just click that one. And uh, see so in here. So you have all these bills. I'm, you know, click, you know, selecting all three. And this is where you 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 type the. Uh, memo whatever you want to say it depends what you want to say you know what do you want to say really uh, so sometimes you just say uh, you know whatever you need you know this could be a specific memo or whatever you want to say but the limit is as I said 42 per check and uh, and the check stop if you're printing a, a check stop uh, you know it cuts up at 59 okay so let's see what happens here so this is basically one, two, three, four. You know, you can, you, you, that would e be easy to count. You know, all right. I'm just going to print check. So on this one, make sure you, you know you have selected the right check number. Right, that's obvious. And just select print check. And well, just say editing. Just say okay. All right. Okay. Now it's uh, print. Then you can print this check. Print check. So it's all the setup. You don't need to do that. And then we want to print this. Okay, so preview and print. See right here. So this cuts up at 42. So in here, 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 2, 42. 
And on the check stop, it cuts up at 9, that's 59. So that's just, this is how you do it. So it really depends on what you want to say on the, you know, the, the memo line, you know, right? And then on the check stop, it basically, uh, you know, it comes from here. Okay. So that's the focus of this video. I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching. All right. Bye.